We are doing a video that I have not done in a while and those of you who love it, absolutely love it. I've been getting a lot of requests, so I have another swatch and sip. If you don't know what swatch and sip is, this is for all my peoples who wake up in the wee hours of the night and swatch their body in eyeshadows. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. I got some new things sent to me from Sydney Grace in honor of their Christmas and July sale and I thought I would bring out my old Danessa Merrick's Lightwork Volume 3 palette since this also just kind of relaunched and we're just gonna look at some pretty juicy creamy shimmery metallic little shadows yeah let's get into it i'm gonna start off with the sydney gray stuff because i have two new eyeshadow palettes to swatch for you guys i love featuring sydney grace eyeshadows because they swatch like a buttery thick delicious creamy dream so they're a good one and then we'll do the multi-chrome shade so my sip for today pause right now if you don't have a drink and go make yourself one the presentation is not the cutest but i I just mixed up some matcha mm, and it is so good and yes I did choose matcha intentionally to go with the green look and we do have a tutorial on the eye look that I did today so the Christmas in July sale for Sydney Grace actually started Monday on the 25th it's running until Monday August 1st so every day there are different deals and if you don't know Sydney Grace they are an indie brand however they create such powerful amazing eyeshadows the mattes are buttery and creamy and blendable and the metallics you'll see the work that they do here highly recommend checking out the sale and the different deals on different days um they very kindly sent me some stuff so i'm excited to swatch them with you guys we'll start off with the palette that i am actually wearing so this is the mountain trail palette and yeah she's green you know i'm all about that so let's zoom in let's turn the lights down let's take a look at what she has to offer and since we're all up close and personal and you can see everything all of the makeup that i'm wearing on my face will be linked down below it's my third day testing the hourglass foundation and i just need to update you if you saw my review we're still going strong i i'm in a relationship with that foundation now and it's it's very good so this is the mountain trail palette okay here we go you ready does have a mirror inside and boom it is a beautiful green eyeshadow palette you have some neutral greens you have some warm tones up here let's get to swatching i probably should have gotten my nails done before i I did this but whatever it's fine let's do dirt road backwoods and then be the sunshine be the sunshine i can't speak all of these are on my eyes right now here we go dirt road yes backwoods you can see how smooth they are and then here's the first metallic that we have and i didn't even press that hard into it but you can see the impact that it has on my eyes i haven't yet used this shade i'm excited because this is almost like a taupey green i have escape on the center of my eyelid and have not tried rusty oh see now we're picking up the impact that sydney grace can give here we go so rusty is not as impactful as I thought it was going to be. It's actually more of a satin as opposed to one of Sydney Grace's metallics. Very interesting. And then we have the deepest row down here, Wildlife. I'm not wearing to Earth, but I'm wearing the other two matte shades down here. Oof. Right? Right? Okay. Hmm, that one didn't swatch as good, but it actually applied great. So I can actually speak on experience. This one swatched pretty good. Okay, so this is the Mountain Trail palette. I have the tutorial of how I got the look that I'm wearing on my eyes because it was with this palette. And this palette, I can tell you application and all of that, super good. So that is the new Mountain Trail palette that you can pick up during the sale. Here is the other one that they sent over. This is California Coast right here. Love the beachy vibe. And then these are like more warm, rosy kind of tones right here. I don't know. See, when I initially opened this palette, I was like, oh, this isn't my vibe. But now that I'm looking at it more, it definitely is. I'm really intrigued by these rosy tones. I have not yet used this palette. So let's take a look here. So we're going to go into Half Moon Bay, which looks incredible incredible laguna and glass beach i i feel like half moon bay right here is gonna be a winner let's see oof winner winner chicken dinner 
Yes, okay. Got matte shade. You know, the matte shades are boring. <laughs> we like swatching the shimmers, right? We have three more mattes and then we have a whole roll of shimmers. Butterfly Beach, Malibu, and La Jolla Shores. This actually is quite a cool toned palette. When I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of warm, but I feel like it's not. Okay, I don't know. I feel like the mattes here aren't giving what Sydney Grace usually gives swatching wise, right? But they applied fine on my eyelids, at least in the other palette. I'm trying not to make my fingers look gross, but they really do get quite gross <laughs> when, when I do these videos. Okay, we have Big Sur, Santa Cruz, and Caramel Beach. Yeah, this palette is actually kind of surprisingly cool. Let's see. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. This row right here, this taupe shade. Ooh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm into the green shades, but I am surprisingly into this California Coast palette. So here we have it. These are the first few shades that I wanted to swatch for you all. What do you think? I think we look good. I'm looking at the Sydney Grace website right now and the shadows that they have, they look so nice. The shimmers, like look, tell me that that's not appealing, right? <laughs> so pretty and they are just as pretty when you get them in person. Okay, mm, matcha break. Let's get into the remaining Sydney Grace shades that I have to swatch. They sent over a highlight and then four individual shadows. So let's take a look at these. So we have a highlighter here in the shade Heaven. What do we think? I think that looks nice. Let's see. Ooh, nice. That would be pretty. Doesn't really go with my makeup look. Otherwise, I would give it a chance. But I feel like that's somewhat of like a pinky -ish shift. I don't know. It looks like they sent over three mattes. Even though mattes are not as exciting, you know that they're so important. So we have Heart and Soul, which is a really soft, muted pink. Ooh, that looks pretty. That's a great base shade. And right here is You Have Me, which is a warmish brick kind of shade. See, these are swatching really nice. A little nicer than the ones I played with in the palettes. And then we have Together Forever, which is a little bit lighter. This is like a really great base shade. Lovely. And then the last shade that we have is Yours Forever, which is kind of like a metallic cranberry shade. Let's see. So all of these are very romantic kind of shades, right? So those are the remainders. I have one more item that was sent to me. So this is the Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadows. I love these. I have a few in my collection. And this is in the shade Stolen Kiss. These are going to be good. Look at this. Here's a little bit of Stolen Kiss. Let's see how it blends out. Oh yeah, this all over the lid. Definitely look into their cream eyeshadows because they have some insanely beautiful shades. This is just an example. All right, and then that is all I have for Sydney Grace to swatch for you. I was really excited to swatch the new palettes because yummy, right? So let me clean off my arms and then we're gonna get into some multi-dimensional shades, which, ooh, I'm excited about. So definitely wanted to give Sydney Grace her moment since we are in the midst of her sale, but also wanted to give some Danessa Myricks some love because she recently launched the Lightwork 3 Experience palette and it's basically a condensed version of this palette that came out over the holidays last year. This is the Lightwork Volume 3 palette and it sold out so fast, never came back. So this is kind of a mini version of it that is available everywhere that you can get. My overall thoughts on this and by this I'm talking about the new Experience one. It's expensive, it's $85. Is it a must have? Absolutely not, but it's a good way to get multiple shades of multi-chromes in your collection without buying them individually from indie brands because if you buy them individually from indie brands it actually ends up being more than $85. Multi-chromes are not cheap to formulate at all and the indie brand multi-chromes and I'm talking you know Cleona, Terra Moons, those are my favorites. Those are better than the Danessa Myricks but the Danessa Myricks is not a formula to be shamed. I think it's a pretty good value with the Danessa Myricks believe it or not but that's only if you want to add multi-chrome shades in your palette. So I'm going to swatch these. It will be up to you. They are very, very good quality. Not as good as Cleona or Terra, but you also pay for what you get because the Danessa is a better value. You see what I mean? But I'm not discrediting the Danessa because it is super duper good and I do recommend it if you're interested. So let's swatch her. Mantra break. 
It looks a little different than what I have, but I have all eight shades that are going to be featured. So what's going to be featured in the new palette? Laris, Galaxy, Martian, and Soul. So these four. Strawberry Moon will be in here. And then we also have Aurora, Gaia, and Solar Rain. So this, this, and then these four. Let's get to swatching. Now keep in mind, it's always a little hard to get these to show their true dimensions on camera, but I'm gonna do my best. So let's hop into Polaris. Now Polaris is like a cream shade. So you'll feel that it's hard to pick up on camera, but it's a cream. Then we have Galaxy, Martian, and then let's get Soul right here. So Polaris is the only cream of these four. Hopefully you can kind of see. And sometimes it's easier to take a look at the dimension on my finger, so take a look at that. You know, I say the more expensive ones are better. And isn't that hard to believe? Because these are so gorgeous. Okay, Polaris, stunning, right? You can see that green gold shift. Then we have Galaxy. I built on a second layer just so you can kind of see it better. Martian, gorgeous. And then Soul is not as multi-dimensional, but you can see she packs a lot. A lot, a lot, right? So those are the first four. We have four more to go in this palette. So Strawberry Moon is kind of more of a duochrome as opposed to a multichrome. It's almost like a highlight kind of shade. It's a little thick though, I think. And we have Aurora, Gaia, and then Solar Rain. All of these are powders as well. And then take a look here. So you can see how you can get a little bit of fallout with Strawberry Moon. So here's Strawberry Moon. You can see now it has that pinky shift to to it. Then we have Aurora, which is kind of sextra terrestrial vibes from Pat McGrath. This one is Gaia. Maybe this one is more sextra terrestrial. It goes from like green to gold. And then the last one is Solar Rain, which is kind of neat because it's almost a little transparent with a very warm turn to it. And those are the eight shades that are going to be in the light work three or are in the Lightwork 3 experience palette. So you can see it's very shifty, it's very unique. You're working on about $10 a shade individually for the palette, which if you compare it to Multichromes, which are typically $15 to $20 individually, is a good price. So yeah, if you're interested, I definitely recommend it. I think it's such a fun palette and I wanted to re-swatch it so that we could bring it back to life and so that you could see it. And just because how fun are these to swatch? There we have it, that was my swatch and sip. Cheers! I hope you guys enjoyed your drink and I hope this inspires you to go and play and swatch those eyeshadow palettes. We don't need to just put them on the eyelids, okay? You can pay to put them on the arm and go ooh ah, right? And again, shout out to Sydney Grace for gifting me these items. Definitely check out their sale. This is not sponsored or anything. I just really want to support the brand. I don't have a code or anything, but I know a lot of other creators do. They're a great indie brand. They have very good quality. And I think you're missing out if you haven't tried their shadows. I have not met a person yet who has not liked their shadows. And then the Danessa Myricks was just a fun one to throw in. You can't lie. For a good swatch and sip, we got to have some multi-chromes. So I have a you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed swatching and sipping with me and yeah i will catch you in the next video bye guys have a good one